by traffickers in, in, in our communities, you know, breaking it down at eight balls or grams. Just to put in context, behind you is 1,062 kilograms of cocaine. This historic seizure has stopped that money from entering the hands of organized crime groups operating within our communities, as well as removed all of this cocaine from the streets. That was the OPP talking about the impact that Project Hope will have on the streets. More than 1,000 kilos of cocaine seized with a street value of $250 million. The drugs hidden away in large stones. From Argentina, cocaine was shipped to Montreal to be allegedly distributed throughout Ontario. Now, throughout your newscast, you've heard that our province has been waging a war on drugs, specifically opioid addiction as well. However, one harm reduction worker tells me that Toronto is still very much a crack cocaine town and that the sea will make users change their ways, but not in a good way. Drug busts do very little. There's supply and demand. There's always someone stepping in. It's actually drug busts that kind of create some chaos when you take out a dealer and you take out a supply. Sometimes new people come in and they may be not, uh, they may be there just to make a dollar and not care about the folks. Gary Thompson, a former user from Vancouver, says he's witnessed just that several times. Anytime a supply was cut off on the West Coast, some users turned to prescription narcotics or other dealers where the risk of contaminated drugs was higher. Well, sure it could. There's all kinds of things that could happen. Um, the new supply that will come in, we don't know what it's with. Could be a dry spell, yeah, switch to other drugs, uh, whatever. So it's kind of like a multi-headed snake. Yes. They can cut off one, but it won't stop people no. from using or they'll switch no. to another drug. Yeah, somebody's working right away when that supply got, that, that might not even been a supply. They probably got several tons more hidden away, right? Now, in relation to Project Hope, three Toronto area men have been charged there and they are facing multiple drug-related charges.